War Diary Day 611 of Russia's war against Ukraine. I may be wrong, but it feels like um, stalemate is becoming uh, a thing here in Ukraine. Uh, talking to friends uh, who've got a um, uh, got seriously good mates high up in the Ukrainian army. The soldiers are saying there is a sense of, of stalemate. And the reason for this isn't because of the lack of Ukraine's courage or its fighting ability or anything like it. It's because we, the West, have failed to send enough material um, to Ukraine in a timely fashion. So, for example, this summer's counteroffensive was was broken in part because of Russian air power, Russian helicopters. And just the other day, when finally the Americans sent the Atacams, um, they were able to knock out, I believe, nine Russian helicopters. Had the Atacams arrived in the spring, then the Ukrainians could have done uh, an effective counteroffensive. Instead, an awful lot of Ukrainian blood has been lost. And for why? Because there is a problem, I think, in that the West's rhetoric has been very good, but the West's ability to deliver has been far less good, and it hasn't happened in a timely fashion. So what we're left with is a kind of stalemate, and that will be some kind of victory for Vladimir Putin. Um, I, you know, I really don't want to be the the messenger with bad news, but this is what I think is happening on the ground right now. It's a shame on us, shame on us for not standing up with the Ukrainians properly and effectively. And what this means is that Vladimir Putin is going to still be around, and that he's going to come at us. Oh, Vladimir Putin, do fuck off.